The lower your voice is, the better you sound. So if I yawned a lot, yes. I might start sounding like Morgan Freeman. No, but you would certainly get a deeper voice. Morgan Freeman is an American actor and film narrator. He won an Academy Award in 2005 for Best Supporting Actor with Million Dollar Baby, which was released in 2004. He has received Oscar nominations for his performances in Street Smart from 1987, Driving Miss Daisy from 1989, The Shawshank Redemption in 1994, and Invictus in 2009. He has also won a Golden Globe Award and a Screen Actors Guild Award. Noted for his memorable and deep voice, Freeman has served as a narrator, commentator, and voice actor for numerous programs, series, and television shows. He is ranked as the seventh highest grossing box office star as of July 2019, and has a combined total box office gross of $4.57 billion, with an average of $71.5 million per film. Lords of all creation. As for Andy, he spent that break hunkered in the shade. A strange little smile on his face. Watching this. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button because it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in our upcoming videos. As of this production, Morgan Freeman is 82 years old and was born on June 1st, 1937 in Memphis, Tennessee in the United States. He stands at 1.88 meters tall or 6 foot 2 inches. He is mostly known for his acting skills, but Morgan Freeman also seems to be passionate about a whole other activity than acting, beekeeping. The 82-year-old actor has announced that he has turned his Mississippi ranch into a real bee sanctuary. The idea came to the actor in the summer of 2014. In an interview with television host Jimmy Fallon, Morgan Freeman revealed that he had recently been practicing beekeeping activities in his spare time. The Oscar winner has decided to turn his 124-acre ranch in Mississippi into a bee sanctuary. Freeman imported 26 beehives from Arkansas to his ranch in Mississippi. He feeds the bees sugar and water and has planted bee-friendly magnolia trees, clover, lavender and other plants that are good for bees. He never wears a bee suit or hat and hasn't been stung at all. Freeman was married to Jeanette Bradshaw from October 22, 1967 until November 18, 1979. Freeman married Myrna Coley Lee on June 16, 1984. The couple separated in December 2007 and divorced on September 15, 2010. Freeman and Coley Lee adopted Freeman's step-granddaughter from his first marriage, Edena Hines, and raised her together. On August 16, 2015, Hines was murdered in New York City at the age of 33. In 2008, the TV series African American Lives 2 revealed that some of Freeman's great-great-grandparents were slaves who migrated from North Carolina to Mississippi. Freeman discovered that his Caucasian maternal great-great-grandfather had lived with and was buried beside Freeman's African American great-great-grandmother. A DNA test on the series stated that he is a descendant in part from the Songhai and Touareg peoples of Niger. A single mom who's working two jobs and still finds time to take her kid to soccer practice, that's a miracle. A teenager who says no to drugs and yes to an education. Morgan Freeman was born on June 1, 1937, in Memphis, Tennessee. He is the son of Mame Edna, a teacher, and Morgan Porterfield Freeman, a barber. He has three older siblings. Freeman was sent as an infant to his paternal grandmother in Charleston, Mississippi. He moved frequently during his childhood, living in Greenwood, Mississippi, Gary, Indiana, and finally Chicago, Illinois. When Freeman was 16 years old, he almost died of pneumonia. Freeman made his acting debut at age nine, playing the lead role in a school play. He then attended Broad Street High School, a building which serves today as Threadgill Elementary School in Greenwood, Mississippi. At age 12, he won a statewide drama competition, and while still at Broad Street High School, he performed in a radio show based in Nashville, Tennessee. In 1955, he graduated from Broad Street, but turned down a partial drama scholarship from Jackson State University, opting instead to enlist in the United States Air Force, served as an automatic tracking radar repairman, rising to the rank of Airman First Class. After four years in the military, he moved to Los Angeles, California, 
and took acting lessons at the Pasadena Playhouse and dancing lessons in San Francisco in the early 1960s and worked as a transcript clerk at Los Angeles City College. In the mid-1960s, Freeman first appeared in an off-Broadway production and then with Pearl Bailey in an all-African-American Broadway production of Hello, Dolly! in 1968. His first film appearance was in Who Says I Can't Ride a Rainbow? in 1971. He became a familiar face in America through both work on the soap opera Another World and appearances on The Electric Company, a PBS kids show. He continued his theatre work and in 1980 received an Obie Award for his starring role in Coriolanus. He nabbed a second Obie in 1984 for the Gospel at Colonus and in 1989 he was given the award again for his lead role in Driving Miss Daisy which was later adapted for the screen which he starred in. The later 1980s and early 90s was an upward climb for Freeman who began playing prominent roles in big budget films. He was cast in the 1987 film Street Smart as Fast Black and the role earned him an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. In 1994, he won the role of Red in The Shawshank Redemption, which catapulted him into A-list fame. He went on to star in several other big-budget films like Seven, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Deep Impact, and Unforgiven. 2005 was a big year for Freeman. After three previous nominations, he finally won the Best Supporting Actor Oscar for his work in Clint Eastwood's Million Dollar Baby at the 77th Academy Awards. In 2005, he was chosen to play the role of God in the blockbuster film Bruce Almighty and later the sequel Evan Almighty. He appeared in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy Batman Begins in 2005 as well. He later went on to reprise his role in the two sequels. After starring in 2007's The Bucket List, Freeman made a big return to the stage and co-starred with Peter Gallagher and Francis McDormand in Broadway hit The Country Girl. He teamed up with director Clint Eastwood in 2009 to play Nelson Mandela in Invictus, which earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. In 2013, he appeared in Olympus Has Fallen and Oblivion. In 1993, Morgan made his debut as director with Paramount Pictures, Bofa. To date, the only other directing endeavour he has undertaken was for three episodes of Madame Secretary. Known for his distinctive, booming voice, Morgan is frequently picked for a narration work. In 2005, he narrated War of the Worlds and the documentary March of the Penguins, and later did voice work for 2014's Lego Movie. He replaced Walter Cronkite as the voice intro to the CBS Evening News in 2010. He's also the host and narrator of Through the Wormhole, a Discovery Channel physics show. Freeman did the narration for many popular Visa commercials until 2018. And what are you? So full of hate you just want to go out and fight everybody. Because you've been whipped and chased by hounds. Well, that might not be living, but it sure as hell ain't dying. Morgan Freeman's current net worth would have been much higher had Morgan not had been forced to pay his ex-wife from 100 to 200 million dollars in a divorce settlement in 2010. His net worth now sits at 250 million dollars. Morgan Freeman has converted his 124 acre ranch in Mississippi into a bee sanctuary in a bid to help counter the insects decreasing population. According to Forbes, the 82 year old actor has imported 26 beehives into his ranch from Arkansas and has been growing bee-friendly magnolia trees and lavender to encourage them to visit his home. The Shawshank Redemption star began his journey as a beekeeper in 2014 and has been working to feed the bees sugar and water to help them. He also explained that he never wears a bee suit or hat to protect himself and at the time he added he hadn't been stung by them. He also explained that he just feeds the bees and does not want to disrupt the beehives or harvest the honey that they make. Freeman, then you must fight! 
join us now.